How to quickly lower cholesterol without medication. There are many plants, fungus and bacteria that help lower cholesterol. Statins, the most commonly used drugs to lower cholesterol, were developed in a lab by copying natural molecules. There are dozens of molecules in nature that can help and in this video I am going to talk about the best and safest food and supplements to quickly lower cholesterol. I will also explain why so many fantastic natural remedies are not used in medicine, but first, let's see how to lower cholesterol naturally. Eating fiber-rich foods helps control cholesterol reabsorption. In the past, in folk medicine, brand porridge was used to help lower blood fats. Regular consumption of fiber is associated with a 5-10% reduction in total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol, according to some studies. Three apples per day or three bowls of uh, hot meal can reduce 2% of total cholesterol. This means less 4% risk of coronary heart disease. One solution is, for example, to eat fl hot flakes at breakfast or just add some grounded flaxseed nuts or seeds not salted or toasted between meals and lots of vegetables in the main meals. Present in healthy and natural fats, which weren't heated or refined, they were part of our ancestor diet. Phytosterols and phytosanols decrease the reabsorption of cholesterol in the intestine by competition. 2 gram per day can reduce 10% of LDL cholesterol in just 4 weeks. This is amazing but they work better when they are not mixed with animal fat like dairy products. To perform best, it's better to be mixed with omega-3 or monounsaturated fat like olive oil or canola wrapped seed oils. Artichokes have been used for centuries to reduce blood fat and lose weight. Today, we know that actually it lowers cholesterol by blocking the cholesterol-producing enzyme HMG CoA reductase, just like statins do. In one study, artichoke leaf extract reduces total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol by 20% in 6 weeks. Similar plants like mcthistle can reduce cholesterol up to 24%. Red is rice or in Latin Monascus purpureus, is a fungus that contains monacolin K. Monacolin K is closely related to statin drugs. Back in the 1970s, a famous pharmaceutical company, Merck, uh, isolated monacolin K from a fungus similar to red yeast rice and created a chemical version of it uh, called lovastatin. Lovastatin is very similar to monoclin K, even thought is much more potent and also has more side effects. Monoclin K is recent uh, restricted in European supplements to no more than 3 mg per uh, recommendation per day instead of 10 mg. I want to believe that this is only for safety reasons and is not to protect the pharma business. What health professionals and patients should know is that phase 1 liver detox blockers can increase the lifetime of statins and radish rice, giving rise to symptoms like muscle weakness and muscle stiffness or cramps, we call myopathy. Because the blood concentrations increase, and these blockers can be found in medications or food. Examples are for are uh, the grapefruit, uh, taking too much orange juice, uh, taking teas or pills of some plants, herbs like hearty shock, milk thistle, or turmeric. All of these are examples of phase one liver detox blockers that can interact and increase the concentrations of statins or even of radish rice, increasing the side effects. Berberine exists in many plants, used in folk medicine to treat so many complaints like infections for so many years or centuries. 
berberine blocks cholesterol for by different mechanisms than statins or red yeast rice. Essentially, it inhibits the absorption of cholesterol in the intestine. Berberine, alone or combinated with other plants, can lower LDL cholesterol by 20 to 30 percent. In order, in order to have a comparative idea of everything I said, statins, the most common used drugs to lower cholesterol, can reduce by 30 to 50 percent if they are moderate statins, moderate intensity statins, or more than 50 percent if they are high intensity statins. Well, this came with a cost. Uh, the cost, you already know, is the side effects. Well, now let's talk about what I promised in the beginning of this video. I will explain to you why aren't more herbal medicines used to lower cholesterol or treat other diseases. Why aren't herbal medicines used to lower cholesterol or treat other diseases? We live in the world where money rules. It is not love or fighting disease and suffering the world. Politicians largely manage the portfolio of billionaires, whether it is in the US, EU or Russia, doesn't matter. Plants cannot be patented. They are world heritage. Neither do natural molecules. If a lab sells non-patented drugs or supplements, it will learn less because others may be able to sell the same and cheaper, so they avoid having herbal medicines and vitamin supplements. And they also exert political pressure to create obstacles to herbal and vitamin market. This is also why, when a patent expires, the drug becomes very cheap and they stop producing it and invent another one. As research is held hostage by laboratories, there are less studies on plants. Much of the public money go to labs to research on their own creations, drugs, and then sell them to us. Public institutes and universities research, but not enough in this area. And that's how we live in a situation where we could ha use our vast human knowledge and heritage to end disease and suffering, but we don't do it because it doesn't generate profit for the lobbies. Medicine, advanced in the sense of using tools and substance that are under exclusive ownership of financial groups, and less and less of the governments and people of the world. One day, I will record a video on this topic, so you can understand how this world of medicines and scientific research works, so that you can have more clarity and your own opinion. All these natural solutions are sufficient for most people, especially when combined with strategies to keep cholesterol under control. Well, watch my video about this topic to learn how to maintain good cholesterol levels. If you cannot find the video, don't despair. I will only record after this one. Well, all these solutions should be taken daily for two or three months before reevaluation, but in less than one month, you already can notice a big difference. I strongly recommend you to combine berberine or phytosterols with red yeast rice if you want faster results and increase the amount of fiber in your diet. I just don't really recommend you to take artichoke or milk thistle extract together with uh, red yeast rice as I already explained it why. Well, and that's all folks. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.